Yo guys what's up John is here and in today's video I'm gonna bring you a fix to the most annoying solution ever which is the cannot download corrupted data update for a game. Fortnite has been doing this lately and I can't get it to work so I tried the first fix which is deleting the game. The update and then going back and <clears throat> start checking for update and wait for it to start again. So this is the first fix if you can get to download the data. What you have to do is basically delete the update and then say and go ahead and press check for update again. Then you're gonna wait for it to do the preparing. Usually this should work and uh, you should be able to start the update again and get a few megabytes or gigabytes out of your way depending how big the game update is. So right here at almost 98% and uh, we're gonna wait for it a second to see if it's gonna update and there we go we restarted the update it's 888 megabyte so this is the first fix now we're gonna bring you another fix which is rebuilding your ps4 database what i mean by that is turning off your ps4 and then holding the power button for like five to seven seconds until you hear two beeps when you do you will get the safe mode screen so once you're on safe mode screen you connect your controller to your US to your PlayStation via USB cable like so and you're gonna go ahead and choose a uh, rebuild database you're gonna hit OK and then from here you're gonna let it do its thing it's gonna load go back to a screen and everything and you're gonna just wait for it to finish so I'll see you when it's done So yeah, it's almost done right here, only 30 seconds left, it usually don't take a lot of time, maximum 1 minute. So yeah, this is the second fix, now the third fix which I'm going to bring to you is kind of a <clears throat> uh, like annoying fix because you have to delete the game and then reinstall it. So if you have a good internet connection that's not going to take like 10 years to download the game, go ahead, delete Fortnite and then install it again. It should be in your library and that should get it to work. If not, the rebuilding database basically rebuilds the data on your PS4, so any corrupted uh, corrupted data should be fixed. So yeah guys, those have been three fixes to fix your problem for the corrupted data. I have another video coming up with another working fix, so make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date to that, and like the video if it worked for you. If not, let me know in the comments down below, and the community will try to help you as well. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time. Peace!